Hello everybody! Happy Art Day! Welcome to Freakin' Art! I'm Anastasia and I'm so happy you decided to make some art with me today. Today we're going to be doing a really cool process-based piece. That's right, we're going to be making tissue paper look like watercolor. Isn't that cool? I think so. Now process-based art we've talked about before, but just in case you're new to my channel, process-based art is where the process of making your art is more important than the actual outcome. So for today's class we're going to need some paper. I'm using watercolor paper. We might just try it on another piece of paper too and see how that goes. You're going to need some tissue paper, also known as crepe paper to some people. I have a bunch pre-cut, but just in case you don't, you might want scissors. But you can tear up the tissue paper really easily, so that's not that important. But what is important is having a red, white crayon. Mine's on its way out. I'm going to have to get a new one. A paintbrush and some water. Now, if you don't have a paintbrush, the other thing you could use is a little spray bottle with some water in it. That works really nice too. So before we start, let's do a little bit of breathing and a stretch so we can be super focused and ready to make our artwork. Everybody breathe in. Let's do that one more time. Let's breathe in and breathe out. Let's roll our shoulders back. And can you roll them forward? And let's interlace our fingers and stretch out those fingers and hands. Ooh. Huh. Well, I feel focused and ready to go. I hope you are too. Let me get some stuff out of the way so I can show you this really cool process-based painting technique. Okay, so I couldn't get this to do it exactly the same every time I did it. I think each tissue paper is made differently because I couldn't figure out why one would work and one wouldn't, but we still got these really cool abstract paintings from this process. So I figured why not share it with you. So you might be able to see there's some white marks within my colorful marks from the tissue paper and that's where the white crayon was. So the first thing we're going to do is take our piece of paper and take your white crayon and draw whatever kind of design you want on it. Artist's choice, up to you. You can even just do some lines and some squiggles, or you could draw a whole scene in white. Now you're not going to actually be able to see what I'm drawing so well, so you're just going to have to use that imagination you have. But remember, it's your artwork, and your artwork should look like your artwork, so don't worry about what I'm drawing, just draw whatever you want to. Okay, so I've put some lines on here. Now I'm going to take my clean water and a clean paintbrush and cover the whole back of my paper in a little bit of water. Now this will help the tissue paper stick. And a little artist trick, if you have thicker paper and it starts to bow like this, if you just flip it over and paint an X with the water on the back side, it will help straighten it out. Okay, so I got my water all on the back. Now I'm going to start putting on my tissue paper. Now I already cut up some pieces, but you could cut out special shapes, or you could just tear and have really organic shapes as you go. So I have the water down already, so I'm going to dip my paintbrush. That will help it stick in place. Hopefully you're just doing this flat down, but I'm doing it up here so you can see what I'm doing. 
But I'm gonna just stick my paintbrush back in the water for that clean water and paint right over the top of my piece of tissue paper so it's completely wet and lying down. Okay. Now choose the next color you want. We'll go with a blue. That's the complementary color to the orange. That's right, it's right across the color wheel from that orange. So I placed it down. I even overlapped it a little bit. And I'm just taking my wet paintbrush and painting over that piece of tissue paper till it's completely wet. So we're just going to keep on doing this and fill up your whole space. And you can overlap your shapes as much as you want. Flipping it around so you can see what I'm doing better. Now if at any point your paper feels dry on the bottom, just put a little bit more water down. Again, I'm using watercolor paper, but you don't need to. Just know if you're using other kind of paper that's not thick, it might get crinkly, or if you put a lot of water on it, it might start to rip. So don't get frustrated. Don't let it keep you from experimenting with this process-based painting. But just be aware that that might happen and try to just breathe in and let it all go. Sometimes things that I think were horrible mistakes turn into beautiful, happy little mistakes on my actual artwork and I couldn't see it being as great as it was without those mistakes. So you know, we just gotta try to let it go and go with the flow. Okay. Now at this point, you should have your piece of paper all the way covered. Now this is the hardest part. We're going to have to wait for it to dry. I mean, we're going to have to be patient. So maybe go eat a snack, run around your house a couple times, or do another one while it dries. And then we can do the big reveal. Now, luckily, I planned ahead, smart thinking over here, and I did one this morning. So let's see how it turned out. So I have, it's mostly dry, it's still a little wet. I guess I could wait a little bit longer, but let's peel it off. Now remember, not all tissue paper is the same as I found out. I don't know if some of it has special coating on it nowadays to keep it from fading or what, but I haven't been able to get all of the colors I have to transfer, just a few, so it's like an extra surprise. <laughs> But it's still really fun. And once it gets to this point, you could always put more tissue paper on it and do that whole process again till you get your whole page covered. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Your imagination is the only limitation. Okay, enough talking. Let's look at this. I'm gonna peel off the tissue paper real carefully. Huh. Well, it's much, <laughs> it's much lighter than my other examples. It's kind of disappointing, but it looks pretty. It's very subtle, not very noticeable. I got the greens and blues in there and where the white is, there's no color. It's just white, but that's hard to see. So. We'll just pretend I just unveiled this one. It looks amazing. Look at all those white marks on there from my crayon. And that's for belly the color. <laughs> but even if this didn't turn out how I want it to be, I'm not disappointed. Cause I learned that that tissue paper that I used on that one was not a good material for this project. But I'm still really happy about learning about this really cool process-based painting technique so we can mimic what watercolor looks like even if we don't have watercolor. Isn't that cool? I think so. Well, 
I hope you liked today's class. Even if my example didn't turn out as great as I hoped it would, it was still fun process to make a painting. If you liked today's class, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. It really helps me continue to make these art classes for you on the internet. And of course, I really want to see what your process-based tissue paintings look like. So please tag me on Instagram at Freakin' Art or send me an email or some snail mail. That information is going to be all below. And I can look at them and we can look at them together online. Doesn't that sound cool? Well guys, I hope you had fun. And um, I'll see you next week, okay? Bye! Let's see if this one did anything yet. No, no. No, definitely let it dry. Definitely let it dry before you peel it up. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye.